Hey, Mama. I know you just changed a poopy nappy, but guess what? I pooped again. Happy Mother's Day. Have fun. Hey, oh, hi, guys. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, guys. So, Daddy is going to attempt to take Riley for a run. So, I, since she'll be out of the house, am going to attempt to wash my hair because I haven't washed my hair in an embarrassingly long time because I've only taken quick showers here and there. So, that is going to be what's going to happen. She's hiding out in there, keeping her warm. She's got an extra blanket, that, and we are going to cover her in the plastic thing, which isn't really ideal, but there's not really anything else to cover her in, just to make sure she doesn't get all the wind blown on her. And this is what Daddy's wearing. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, but you'll get hot when you start running. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Be good to her. You be very careful. Yeah. Okay, I'm not kidding. Hey, baby. She's very good. All right. Seen a bit? Don't go too fast. No. All right. And they're off. This is really, really exciting. I am sitting down for breakfast. I haven't sat down for breakfast in a really, really, really long time. But basically, Duncan is still out running with Riley. And actually, he nipped inside really quickly, so I came down from my shower to these. Um, he must have run up to the shops to pick these up. Um, I already put them in the vase, they didn't come in the vase, but um, aren't they gorgeous? I absolutely love the purple with the pink. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I really love this. Um, no idea what it is. I don't really know about flowers, I'm really bad, but oh, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Well, I had one bite of my oatmeal, but now they are back. Did you have a good run or did you just sleep through the whole thing? Yeah, she slept. Did you have a good run? It's sunshiny. Yeah. Thank you for the flowers. Yeah. Oh, she picked them. Which shop did you go to? She went these for the best mom in the whole wide world. I, I can't open. I don't know how to open it. I don't know how to work our doors. This is my lunch. I've got, it's uh, toast with avocado mashed up on top and then I have um, tomatoes, artichoke hearts, and olives. And back here I've got my tea. And these are just black beans. I'm soaking them because I'm going to put them in the slow cooker tonight. So we have black beans to eat this week. Hey guys, I thought I'd have a little chitty chat with you all. And um, I have Riley down here, so I'll pick her up in a second. But first I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I picked up from Tesco. Yes, we went shopping again, but it was actually specifically because, bless you, it's actually specifically because I saw these um, items of clothing, I think last week when we went food shopping, um, but I didn't buy them because we hadn't um, gotten other, um, basically I've been looking for six to nine month clothing for her and I wanted to go to some shops and actually find some clothes, which I did this past week, but um, you know, I don't know, I didn't want like my first clothes to be from Tesco, Not nothing against Tesco, I just meant like, I think of Tesco as a supermarket, like a food store and like in America, food stores don't normally have clothing, so like... I guess the idea of getting your clothes at a food store is like weird to me, but um, I know it's not weird. Like all the clothing, sorry, all the food stores have clothes in this country as well, it seems. But um, basically after doing a lot of other clothes shopping for her, the things that I saw at Tesco last week were still some of the cutest things I saw. So I wanted to go back and get two specific tops and it worked out because one of them was actually on sale. So I'll show you real quick. Although actually, I say I was looking for six to nine month stuff. The two tops that I wanted to get were in three to six month sizes because I wanted them to fit her now. Because um, I wanted some warm short, not short sleeves. I wanted some warm shirts for her to wear because most of what she has are, um, you know, one piece outfits like sleep suits and stuff. 
and obviously that doesn't work for doing diaper free time and I wanted her to be able to do diaper free time and since it's still a bit cold um I wanted her to stay warm so this is the first jumper and this is the one that was on sale has this really cute like kind of quilted in um pattern and then the best thing is this little ribbon detail on the inside border that'll show um just in little flashes when she's wearing it and it's got a little dip how cute and this was on sale for four pound fifty Ha! Oh, so sweet and I love this and then the other top I went back for it's this little yellow jumper with bow pockets and then it's got little crochet detail on the shoulders how cute and then my hubby who has great fashion sense picked out these leggings to go with the jumper and the leggings I got in a six to nine month size because they'll fit her now especially because she's wearing um cloth nappies and then I think they'll still fit her when she's in like six to nine months as well because she kind of fits in like she fits in all sorts of sizes of leggings like I don't think the size of leggings seems to matter much especially because she's so slim and then I got this top as well and this is in six to nine months so this is for summer even though it's like kind of long sleeve but it's not heavy and it doesn't really get that hot in this country but it says little ray of sunshine and then the sun on it is um Kind of like a sequiny look very very cute so that's what we got for miss riley we got some food stuff at uh, tesco as well but nothing exciting or fun like we got like bags of potato oh organic potatoes you can get a bag for a pound right now at tesco that's a great price because uh over the winter they were like two pounds a bag here's miss riley what else have i got to chit chat about it's mother's day in england which is really exciting for me because it's my first Mother's Day. I mean, I guess kind of I had Mother's Day last year because I was pregnant, but I didn't like celebrate or anything because, you know, I didn't have an actual baby yet. Um, I quite enjoy living in England for Mother's Day because it means I get Mother's Day all to myself because my mom and my sister, who's also a mother, are both in America. And we have a different Mother's Day in America. Uh, Mother's Day in America is in May. Um, I think it's always the first Sunday in May. I think that sounds right but um yeah so since mother's day in america is a different day i don't have to share mother's day with my mom or my sister i get it all to myself which i think is quite fun um and speaking of mother's day my friend laura who i met on here on youtube um she is gonna give birth like I would say any day now, but it might even be any moment now because I have no idea what's going on with her. And I've really like had this feeling um, since yesterday that that baby is coming soon. I say that baby, that's horrible. Her name is Millie. And I can't wait to see pictures because like, it's really weird. Before I had a baby, like I had no interest in babies. But now that I have a baby, like Riley has gotten me like obsessed with babies. Like being pregnant and like having a baby I just want all the babies like literally that's like baby baby babies but um yeah I can't wait to see pictures of little Millie she's gonna be so cute um Laura is like 39 weeks plus I don't know like four or five days or something so she is really pregnant and you know she just seems to have had signs recently that she might go into labor you know any moment I mean obviously that might not happen but um it just seems like it and it feels like it and you know the timing's good she's got her sister with her now um, which is really nice and her mom will come you know when she needs her which is lovely and she's planning a home birth so if anybody wants to follow her story I will try my best to remember to link her down below um, her channel's name is mummy and Millie m-i-l-l-i-e um, like I said I'll try to remember to put the link down below if I forget please remind me because I do upload these in like the early morning hours generally I upload these when Riley decides to keep me up all night so it's really easy for me to forget but try to remember to sorry I'll try to remember <laughs> I'm telling you to try to remember I'll try to remember and if I forget please remind me um I don't know what else to talk about Riley's eating her hands. She's so cute. I love her. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <coughs>
Thanks. This is what Riley does when she's trying to poo. She squeaks. Yeah, you squeak. Now you've gone all camera shy because you just noticed the camera. But I caught you. I caught you on camera squeaking. And I'm not going to show them your butt because your butt's hanging out. one mama <laughs> that's your third present today I love you gee thanks Riley I love you too dinner on the floor again and we are having pasta with all sorts of different veg mixed in that's got spinach corn and peas which is all the frozen because I wanted a really quick dinner I've got a can of plum tomatoes that I just you know, very quickly broke up. Ooh, Obviously pasta sauce. Um, there's avocado, artichoke heart. Um, I chopped up some fresh tomato. I put some leftover baked tofu. Hubby just put some lettuce on there. <laughs> We've got lettuce as always. Um, the lighting's really bad in this room. Sorry guys. And then I've got some focaccia bread with some extra sauce to dip it in. Mm. And of course I've always got my cup of tea, fennel tea, water, ah, and nutritional yeast. To sprinkle on top of the pasta. Nooch. Yum, yum, yum. And a baby playing in a gym. And a daddy. It's so dark. Oh my oh. god. You're flying. You're flying. Woo. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's super girl. <laughs> Is that a ducky in the sky? Who knew ducks could fly? Go quack, quack. <laughs> Ready? Can you guys hear that in the background? It's bedtime. I'm in my pajamas and that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good night or a good day whenever you are watching this. Bye guys!